Hey, what's going on everyone? Josh Quinones here, and today I'm gonna show you how to use the new Nearby Share on your Samsung Galaxy devices. Now, this isn't really something that was announced through an update, letting us know that we now have this feature on our Samsung phones. It was just kind of quietly pushed out by Google, and now we can kind of just find it in our settings. So this is something that you can use to be able to transfer photos and videos to nearby devices that also have this feature at their highest resolution. So it's not going to compress that photo or compress that video people receiving these uh, photos or videos will be able to receive it at the original resolution which is something that's actually really cool about this feature so I already have it set up here in my quick settings on my Galaxy S20 Ultra as you can see here nearby share now in order to find this I don't have it yet set up here on my Galaxy Note 10 Plus so what you're gonna want to do is just pull down your quick settings click on these three dots up here usually it'll have an orange N right there to let you know that you have something new there I actually already Already went into these settings just to see if it was there on this device and it is which is why the little orange and disappeared for me but what you're gonna want to do is just click on these three dots up here click on button order and then you will see it here up top nearby share all you got to do is just tap and hold and then pull it down to your quick settings and boom it's there just press done and as you can see right there, Nearby Share is now in your quick settings. So in order to share a photo or video, say I want to share a photo from my Galaxy S20 Ultra to my Note 10 Plus. Well, I can turn this feature on here on my Note 10 Plus, visible to nearby devices as you can see there. And then I can go over to my gallery on my Galaxy S20 Ultra, go ahead and click this little share button down here, scroll down to Nearby Share, Look at that. And then it's going to tell me what devices are available that currently have this feature on. So Joshua's phone, which is my other phone right here, all I gotta do is click on that. And as you can see, it's connecting. We just gotta wait for that to connect, waiting for a device to accept. So on this person's device over here, they just gotta press accept. And you can open it with whatever you, know, you want to open it with. I'll go ahead and keep it on gallery. And boom, look at that. Got the same exact picture at the same exact resolution. And in order to check the resolution, just to see if it didn't compress that photo, we can click on details over here. Let me go on details on this photo. As you can see right here, 3.41 megabytes. 3.41 megabytes so it did not compress that photo at all and the same is going to go for videos as well so this is just something really cool really quick to be able to share uh files like photos and videos at their original resolution because if you try sending say a 10 or 15 second video through regular text message it's going to really just it, that video is just not going to look good to the person receiving it or even photos photos don't always send at that original resolution and they won't always look as good as they do on the person's device that is sending it. So again, this is called Nearby Share. You can find it in your quick settings. Again, these three little dots up here, go to button order and you will find it up top. This is just another cool way, again, to send photos and videos to any devices nearby you that have this feature. It doesn't have to just be one device. You can send it to multiple devices that are around your area. So you guys let me know what you think down in the comment sections below. Check to see if you have have this feature on your device if you do let me know if you've already tried it or if you are planning on trying it if there's anybody else that you know with a samsung device or google device let them know about this feature so you guys can start using it and start sharing those photos and videos at their highest resolution but if you did like this video and find it helpful make sure to give it a huge thumbs up don't forget to subscribe and hit that bell for notifications so you don't miss out on any other future videos to come thank you guys so very much for watching and i know i'm probably going to get questions about about my wallpapers because I always do. I'll make sure to have a link for that video down in the description below. I did actually make a video on where I get my wallpapers. So just check the description for the link to that video down below so you can find out where I get my wallpapers. But again, thank you guys so much for watching. Like, subscribe, hit that notification bell. This is Josh Quinones. I will see you all on the next one. Peace out.